Hi, it's Tap Into South Brunswick and Cranberry, Nicole Wells, Charles Cam. We're here we're getting ready for the step off of the Cranberry Memorial Day Parade, which should be starting momentarily. This is the last of our events that we're covering live today. We'll have these videos, we're going to put everything together from all the services today at the South Brunswick VFW, South Brunswick American Legion, and whatever we can get. I will tell you our battery is a little low, only about halfway there, here for the parade. So we'll bring to you as much as we can live uh, before our battery dies. But uh, the, these three events, one started at 10, one started at 11, and now this one at 1. So there's not a whole lot of time in between to charge your battery. So, um, but it's a little cool and damp here in downtown Cranberry. So we don't have near the number of people, no, you know, that normally uh, come out for the parade. Lining the streets significantly less this year, obviously because of the weather. Likely because of the weather, we don't know that. We're not in everybody's mind, but. We're here, and uh, we even have our patriotic hats on. Nicole's there; she's ready. Nicole will be handling a lot of the filming. I'll be taking pictures, but Nicole's gonna be handling the uh, the uh, video as a. back here at Cranberry's Memorial Day Parade on Main Street. The parade looks like it's just starting. Um, if you can see further down the route there, there's the flashing lights um, of the police vehicle that is going to be leading the parade. You can just about hear the sounds of the bagpipers. That looks like they're right behind the police vehicle, so stay tuned as it comes down the road. And as you're watching, make sure you leave your comments underneath. Please feel free. Discuss. Let everybody know you're there. As a matter of fact, uh, say thank you to all the veterans who gave their lives this Memorial Day. It's what it's all about. I wonder, Nicole, I wonder how big the parade is going to be this year, given the weather, if any of the groups have, uh, that normally would march or maybe opting to stay out of this one. What do you think? Yeah, it'll be tough to say. I mean, it's usually been consistent over the years, but with the weather being what it is, I'm not really sure. 
how many groups might have pulled out of this year's parade, so we'll have to see. In terms of crowd size, a lot of people are not here that, that usually are. It's pretty empty compared to most years. But well, we'll most have to wait of you, and see. Yeah, you have a pretty good lineup on both sides of the streets. Oh, it's standing room only most years, but this year it's pretty sparse. It's a little chilly today, so the guys going around with the shopping cart selling the uh, pretzels and cold water may not be selling quite as much as they have in years past. Well, maybe not of the cold water, but who doesn't like a good pretzel? That's good. Very steady foot to drive that slowly up Main Street. It's Ricky. Chief Ricky Varga, Police Chief Ricky Varga leading the parade. Like we have four of the five committee men. Uh, here comes two gets. She was just uh, delayed a little bit. We have two gets: uh, David Cook, Mayor David Cook, Glenn Johnson, and Jay Taylor. State Senator Linda Greenstein and Dan Benson from the 14th Legislative District. We're of course running for re-election this year. <laughs> and parade sponsors the Cranberry Alliance, Phyllis Johnson. This year's parade organizer, Phyllis Johnson, is top of the float. <laughs> now there's a car for you. Not really sure what year that is, but it's classic for sure. <laughs> Probably back to the 30s, I would imagine. Looks like two cars back here in the lineup. We've got candy being thrown to the children on the side. So we're scrambling for the bits that are being thrown from the car. Kind of a tradition here at the parade. That's a Jeep. Nothing like today's Jeeps. No. <laughs> Looks like we have a group of reenactors coming up the street here.
another favorite here at the uh, the parade here at Cranberry. You have the twirlers. Like a lot of you who couldn't make it out to the parade today are sending your comments and your thumbs up and your hearts, so keep sending them. Troop 52, Cranberry Zone, Boy Scouts of America coming through now. Quite a float they've got there. Their float is floating. They're actually, their float is a canoe of them paddling down some waterway. So their float is actually floating, Nicole. They have a tent and a fishing pole. Before you can be a Boy Scout, you have to be a Cub Scout, you know? and Well, you got to start up. somewhere. And they're coming up next, the Cub Scouts. And I think I see a couple Weeblows. You know what Weeblows means? No, actually, I've never heard the it's term. It's between Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. There's an organization called the Weeblows, which is We'll Be Loyal Scouts. Ah. Well, there you go. You learn something new every day. Even with me. One of the really nice parts about this parade every year is all the classic cars that make their way through. There seem to be a lot of them in town. Everybody, it seems, has a classic car in their garage. Next coming up is the Cranberry Business Association.
Yeah, it looks like those bicycles are actually going to overtake the uh, tow truck there, Nicole. Well, geez, they move a lot faster, so <laughs> I could see why. Okay, so we're not really sure what happened there, but apologize for the cutoff and broadcasting there. But we are back. We'll try to get you uh, on, the, on the, when the parade returns, we'll try to get you a shot. What you missed was the new Canberra Library being caught, driven in the back of a pickup truck. Well, not quite the whole library, but a cute little representation of it. So we will try and get that for you on the flip side of the parade. And what we're going to do is as soon as these um, emergency uh, emergency response trucks pass through, we're going to flip over to the returning route of the parade, so we'll try and get as much um, that we missed as possible on the other side. So right now, this is Cranberry's first aid vehicles. But there is a long line of vehicles, also from Usually Heightstown, East Windsor, um, Plainsboro, so we'll have to see who showed up this year. listening applause from the crowd. We have first responders passing through now, which is really what Memorial Day is all about. It's the soldiers and the first responders who make life possible for us here in the United States. line of first responders. So I think what we'll do is we'll break away now and we'll go over to the other side. Okay, it looks like Heightstown has showed up this year as they usually do. Um, and we'll try and get the others on the other side of the parade. So stay tuned. We'll be back shortly. Alright, and we are back again. I know the third time, but hopefully it's the charm. So... <laughs> So passing by is the Women's Club of Cranberry. And I think we're waiting on that little library float. I think it should be coming by not too far from now. This is the other side of the parade route as it loops around from Main Street down to Maplewood Avenue is what we're on now. So this is the second side of the parade. So you may have seen some of this already, but if you're just tuning in now and this is all new to you, um, 
This is the Cranberry Memorial Day Parade. Happy Memorial Day to you too, Debbie. Thanks for tuning in. Looks like we're just waiting on our next group of parade marchers to come down. So just bear with us. Twillers are coming up. Oh, looks like the baton twirlers are next. Got a group just relaxing in front of their house here in their chairs with their dog. Looks like they're having a good time. Oh, and here come the first of the baton twirlers. Once again, here is the Boy Scout float, Troop 52, paddling away, with their tent set up in the back. Cranberry Historical and Preservation Society and yet another classic car. All these cars though are so nicely restored. They're just gorgeous. Like they're just deciding on what song to play next.
believe it's not too much longer yet until the library float comes up. It's another Georgia's towing vehicle from Georgia's garage out on 130. We've got what appear to be patriotic bicyclists. Their bikes all decked out in red, white, and blue. And coming up next is the library float. Cranberries in the midst of building a new public library, standalone building. Right now, the library is currently housed inside of the um, Cranberry School, and they are trying to build a standalone building. So, this is a little representation of the library. Of course, the new library is going to be much larger than that. They hope to break ground this spring on the new library. So. We will see what happens. And I think we may have also missed Gil and Bert's ice cream earlier from our earlier broadcast. Um, for some reason it cut off. I'm not sure what happened, but there was a technical glitch of some kind. Smarty? So. Sure! <laughs> that is Gil and Bert's ice cream. Always a favorite. They usually open April 1st. And they are open... Thank you. <laughs> and they're usually open um, all season. And they're wonderful ice cream. I believe they are still only cash only, so make sure you bring cash if you check them out. But they are definitely well worth the trip to Main Street. All right, so that about wraps up the parade. I think we have gotten um, everything else. I, we may broadcast a little bit longer um, just to get some of the other emergency vehicles in that we weren't able to get in. It's a nice, nice American flag hanging off the, um, the army vehicle here. Reminding everyone what Memorial Day is all about. In addition to the time off, it's about honoring the fallen and those who have given for the rest of us. So we'll get a few shots of the rest of the, the first responder vehicles and then we're going to head over to the... Um, the Memorial Day service that they have in the park over by the lake. So we will we will stop broadcasting here and we will come back to you from over there.
looks like this is where we cut off last time, right about at Pikestown. Town first responders waving. Coming up here, we've got East Windsor. Brass Dixie Band playing here for you. More Heights Town emergency response vehicles. Monroe Township Fire Department. Got another East Windsor vehicle here.
Got some first responders marching here. Not really clear where they're from. And Plainsboro made it this year, so here they are. Another cranberry police SUV. And it looks like that is it for the parade. So we're gonna break now. And we're gonna come to you from the service down by the lake. Stay tuned.